guys welcome back so today we're going to woodbury commons finally i've been promising you guys that we're gonna go back this year i went last year and literally have not been back since then so this year we're finally going that's where we're going last year i didn't end up picking anything up but i'm excited i'm hoping that there's gonna be new stock in and i'm hoping that i'm gonna get to see some different boutiques than what i saw last year there were some that i missed last year so if you guys want to come to a break comments with me and elver and then please just keep on watching but wait you already know what i'm gonna say if you're not already subscribed this is on sundays at 9 a.m pacific standard time 12 p.m eastern standard time and i feel like you're gonna want to be here when i do if you like luxury like handbags you like fashion if you like discounted shopping like Woodbury comments. I feel like this is definitely where you're gonna want to be. So you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just K Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is a real outfit of the day, something on stories. It's a lot of random stuff over there. So you should definitely follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So we decided to start the day off at Bottega. I was really interested in seeing the stock that they had since I wasn't able to make it here last time. I was looking at a few of their Arco totes. It looked like they had a lot of colors and a lot of sizes. And you guys know nobody does color quite like Bottega. So we were looking at some of these shades. Elva really likes all the neutral shades like this more butterscotch color and the more caramel shade was also one of his favorites. I don't particularly like tote style bags, so I wasn't looking to add any of these, but I thought it was interesting to see that they were here when I know that they're still being sold for full price. So moving on, I wanted to really look at some of these pouch bags. This green kiwi color kind of showed up a lot throughout the store. This one was the Intrachiato one without the chain on it and it was discounted. The one with the chain I also kind of played with. I kind of really hate the Bottega chain and I feel kind of bad saying that I know a lot of people really love that chain, but it just feels so hollow and flimsy, which I guess if you don't like a very heavy bag, is okay and it's probably something that you're looking for but for me it just feels like it's not worth the price tag maybe if you're paying the outlet price tag but even then i don't feel like it's really worth it they did have some of those towel mules that everybody was really obsessed with for a minute there and they pretty much had all the popular styles they had the mules that i have but they also had like the leather version the ones that i have are the rubber version but I wanted to look at these sandals, which you guys know were like super, super popular. I was really interested in the pink version and I was interested in the blue version, but they ended up not having my size in the pink. So I asked to try on the blue one so that I could get a bag. No, so that I could get a pair of shoes to match with my Chanel mini top handle. So while she was getting those for me, I was looking around the store at what else they had. I have never seen these clutch bags before, so I thought those were really interesting. I was looking at some of the men's shoes. Elver thought that those boots looked absolutely insane. And honestly, like, I can't disagree. Those, those are some crazy boots. Um, I'd never seen this bag before, but this purple shade was honestly beautiful. So I was just taking a look at it. It kind of felt like it was made out of like raffia or something like that. But here I am trying on the blue shoes and you can kind of tell that the size 37 and a half, which is my usual size, pretty much fits perfectly and they weren't really uncomfortable at all. I would say that my big toe was probably a little bit on the thicker side and that could be why the front was cut off a little bit. But besides that, the heel was not too high and everything seemed perfectly fine with them. The belts were running an extra discount, so I decided to take a look, but I didn't find anything that really tickled my pickle too much. So we kind of just left everything there. A lot of the styles did have the signature Bottega triangle on them though. These robes were also on discount and I kind of feel like I want a new robe, but I don't know that I'm willing to spend this much money. Even though it is a discounted price, it's still 
too much money, I think, for a robe. I wanted to look at some sunnies, but these, again, were not really interesting to me. But I did find it interesting that this chlorophyll mini pouch bag was available at the outlet, and they also had, like, a python bag. I thought that was really interesting because I think those are some popular pieces from Bottega. Then we headed to Fendi. I was excited because I wanted to look at some of the ready-to-wear, but honestly, I didn't really find anything that did it for me. I do love the cartography print, and I do want to get some type of ready-to-wear piece in that, but nothing that I saw really, really was interesting, really made me like excited. This poncho was like one of Elver's favorite things. He was head over heels for this poncho, but I'm not really a poncho type of person. I think you guys probably know that, so the poncho had to stay, I'm sorry. They had some cute little dresses. These have like the O-lock on, is that what they're called, the O-lock, the F-lock? No, it's definitely the O-lock. The O-lock design. I also loved this shirt. This was in the men's section. I thought this would look so good on Elver, but you guys probably know this is that's not his jam. He really does not, he's not interested. <laughs> Then we looked at some of the accessories. They had a cute little raffia hat that I thought was adorable. But again, with my hair, a hat is just not, it's not the vibe. Then we took a quick spin at Dior. There really was, we did go to Dior during our last trip, but this time I think there was even less than our previous trip. There was a couple of ready to wear pieces, nothing that was really special to me. That t-shirt was really the only thing that I thought spoke to me at all and not even really. They had a couple of book totes, some east-west bobby bags in some funky colors, but nothing crazy. Then we made our way to Gucci. Again, I was looking for maybe a pair of pants, maybe a t-shirt, something, something small, but like a ready-to-wear piece. But I stopped at sunglasses and I found a couple of pairs. They had the Gucci Balenciaga hacker collection. I mean, honestly, all the pieces should be there. I saw a couple of sweatshirts, t-shirts, Everything was really casual that I saw until I saw the most beautiful denim jacket. I love this jacket, but I do not like the silver on the inside. I'm pretty sure this was a reversible piece, but I don't think anybody would ever wear it on the other side because that silver just literally makes you look like you're wrapped in aluminum foil. I saw these beautiful green shorts, but they were just at an awkward length and I wasn't really a fan. They did have quite a bit of shoes but pretty much every pair of shoes that they had was like very specific. Like it didn't look like it could be a classic style. Like they all had at least some type of funky thing going on. So I wasn't really interested. They did also have some belts, but I'm really the Gucci belts, not, not something that I would want to go for. I saw the Soho Disco camera bag and I almost lost it because that is actually a bag that I bought when way back when and it definitely wasn't discounted then. So I thought that was so cool that it was now. We popped by Saint Laurent, which again, we did actually visit during our last trip to a Berry Commons, but I just wanted to see what they had that was new. They had quite a few Lulu bags. They had some Lulu puffers, some envelope bags, a couple of Raffia bags. I actually saw some after this that were definitely some winners. I saw these mules, which you guys know, I'm a, I'm a mules type of girl. I love mules and I saw these and I actually thought that they would go with a lot. Like if I was wearing like a plain green outfit or like a plain red outfit, I thought that these would match really nicely. I also really love these blue shoes. And like I said, I was looking for blue this day, but the heels on these were ridiculous. Like there was no way that I'd ever be able to walk. They, they were just like, they had to be like five inches minimum. Then I was looking at these Saint Laurent opium boots. You guys know everybody has these boots, but I've heard that they're quite uncomfortable to walk in and I just can't get down with that. So I was looking at some other styles that they had to offer. These were the closed toe option, which I really don't like as much as the just regular sandal version. But these shoes, these heels right here, I think are much more beautiful. I didn't like this brown color, but if they had this in like a black or something like that, I would definitely have been interested. I was looking at these mules, of course, because they're mules. Like it, it's like a moth to a flame. You know, I can't, I can't resist. And I thought they were really cute. And I was looking at these. I believe these are called thong sandals. I hate these kind of sandals. I would never buy these kind of sandals. But I thought that they were cute. You know, on the display. <laughs> and then we were looking at some boots. None of these, again, really caught my eye. And here we saw some beautiful mint green bags. I told you guys mint and yellow are the colors of the season, okay? And I was not lying. They had an ostrich Cassandra bag, which honestly, 
it was difficult for me to stay away from that bag because you guys know, well, I don't know if you know actually, but I do like ostrich leather a lot and I love the Cassandra bag and I love that green color. So really it was just a combination of things that I love. Here we have some more raffia bags before we ran to Burberry. So here you're gonna see, I'm looking at some shirts, really trying to find something that speaks to me because I feel like pretty much everything from Burberry is very classic. Their style in general is just, it's classic. Like you, it will never go out of style in my opinion. So that's why I was really looking for something. And this is actually where I wanted to go last time that we came to Burberry Commons. Like I was looking forward to coming to Burberry, but we ended up not being able to come. But it really turned out not to be the greatest trip because I didn't feel like anything here was, you know, discounted to a point that I would have wanted it to or just pretty or just appealing to me at all. So like these shirts, these are button down shirts. I'm not really much of a button down shirt kind of person. So that really wasn't interesting to me. I did like the t-shirts, but I'm pretty sure those were not discounted. And if they were discounted, it was very a very small percentage off this was pretty much the same t-shirt except the pocket was a little bit different that's literally the difference between this t-shirt and the other t-shirt so yeah really i didn't find anything that i was interested in here i did look at some of the jackets because obviously you guys know burberry is known for their outerwear like they're an outerwear brand so i wanted to take a look but again the discounts just were not there this one was a nice like tie dress which i thought was cute but you know, it's just, the trip did not go the way that I thought it was gonna go. I will say that Elver absolutely loved this like furry jacket. This was definitely his favorite thing from the entire store. And honestly, it's, it was cute. It's just, I don't know that this is what I would want to wear in the winter, so we passed on it. I had to show you guys Auntie Anne's because I'm actually obsessed with Auntie Anne's. Like that's just my favorite thing in the entire world. So I'm, like buy me Auntie Anne's and I'll be the happiest person that you will know. We decided to stop for food, obviously. So obviously seeing Auntie Anne's just got us ready to eat. So Elver was ordering some Chinese food. I think he got some lo mein and I wanted to get a salad because I absolutely love salad. So that is it. That was the end of our trip. We sat down and we ate before making the almost two hour, no, I think it was over two hour drive home to see the kids. And <laughs> it was overall a fun day. I actually, took off of work this day. So it was definitely worth it, I think. Um, I mean, just based off of the footage that we got, but obviously you guys let me know what you think. Yeah. Cheddar? Give me. Yeah. Oh, right. Milkshake? Okay, so we just got home. Quick outfit of the day. I'm pretty sure my entire outfit is from Sheen. I know this is from Sheen. This is probably from Sheen. These earrings are from Fashion Nova. Obviously, I'm wearing all my bracelets that I always wear. And my Louboutin sneakers. Because I always wear my Jimmy Choo's. I figured I'd show you guys what I got. I don't think this needs a separate unboxing, mostly because you guys probably already know what it is. So, let's jump into the only thing, because I only picked up one thing that I got. So here it is. Here is the item that I picked up and it may seem random to you, but I'm going to explain myself in a second. It's a pair of shoes. I did end up getting these. I don't even know what these are called, B. What's, what's your name? What do they call you in the street? I don't know. The stretch lounge sandal, I'm guessing. This is like the hottest shoe from last year. And I got it in this beautiful blue shade. I was between this and the hot pink because you guys know I just unboxed my like bright hot pink cocoa handle over here. I'll link that unboxing up here. But I've actually been looking for the perfect like royal blue shoe for a while to match with this. And it already looks like it's not exactly the same color. But that looks pretty damn close, I think. Luckily for me, because you guys know I have trouble with shoes, I tried them on in store, as you guys saw, and they fit perfectly. And I walked around a little bit and I felt like they were good. I felt like they fit fine. I didn't have any issues. So I am very happy I picked these up and now I can finally pair some blue shoes with my blue Chanel mini top handle. So here they are together. I am so excited to start wearing these shoes. You guys have no freaking idea. I have so many outfits planned with that blue bag specifically. So these are definitely gonna get used in the summer. Will you see them in the summer? Probably not because I post everything that I wear like 
late, very late, like months later. But yeah, that is it for this vlog. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing that we saw today. Was there anything that you feel like I'm gonna regret not picking up? Anything that was like wildly overpriced? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there, and that's all that I have to say, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I probably have lip gloss on my teeth because this keeps happening all day. So if I do, I'm sorry.